Hey everyone, Kelly here. And this message I'm sending to all of my clients who have purchased a home over the past year. You likely have received two items that you might have questions on and I wanna tell you a little bit about them. One of them is a 1098 statement and that's a good one. That's something that you provide when you do your taxes this year to show the IRS how much of your taxable income was spent on mortgage interest. In exchange, the IRS will lower the amount of income that you'll pay taxes on, saving you money. The other one looks scary. It might be a statement from your servicer saying that your escrow account is too short and that you have a difference too. And that's confusing. And you're probably asking, hey, you're the servicer. You're the one managing my escrow account. Each month, you take an amount for taxes and insurance. How is it short? Well, it's likely not wrong. I got one too. It happens every couple of years. And here's what's happening. Your escrow account does pay your taxes and your insurance for you. And each month, one twelfth of your next tax bill, and your next insurance bill is included as part of your total mortgage payment. So that at the end of the year, you have a full amount for your property taxes and your homeowner's insurance. So if it's taken out each month, why is it short? Because it's going off the previous year's amounts. So if it's short, that means you had an increase in either property taxes like me, or homeowner's insurance, like me also, and the new amount that's been building isn't enough to pay those bills. So this is really true for Brunswick County residents because we, myself included, all had significant tax increases this year. Having taxes and insurance that increases is an inevitable part of owning anything. You can't do anything about taxes increasing, but you can shop insurance and see if you have a new provider you wanna go with. If you like, I've got some local agents I can introduce you to who can give you a fresh quote. I just wanted to give you some background on those statements just in case you get one like I did. Outside of that, a refinance can be a way to set off that increase. And when I said I was your lender for life, I'm backing that up right now. Each week, every week, I compare current rates to each client I have that's closed over the last 14 months and look for savings. Rest assured, when I say savings, I mean real savings, not something that some dot-com company is going to offer you where they charge you two points and you end up spending $10,000 to save 30 bucks. This is real savings. So rest assured, when I see something that is actionable and it will save you money, I will be calling you and I will say that I have something to present to you. But until then, if you want to talk strategy on refinance, if you want to talk about any documents that you received, that you have questions on, feel free to reach out to me and we can do it. Until then, see you.